But imagine if he could talk, here we say, this is the last race I'll ever run. I can see by his face, because I haven't won. I can see hate in his eyes. That's no lie. Tomorrow's my last day. It's then I must die. This is my fate as a running hound. Gold gun to the head, then a hole in the ground. Please don't forget me. Don't let it be in vain. All this misery, all this pain, keep asking the question, the reason why, at two years old, I had to die. Run fast, boys, run free at last. On the November the 1st, 2003, a baby boy was born. A small brindle bundle, later to be named Clash Nitro. Destined to become famous not because of his prowess on the track, but posthumously along with Rain T. Flyer, whose deaths exposed the cruel and colourless, colourless side of greyhound racing. Flash Nitro left the shores of Ireland in early December 2005 to race in the northeast of England leaving his three brothers and four sisters behind. Clash Nitro's racing career lasted less than seven months, during which he sustained numerous injuries, restricting his earning capacity to just nine races. Having suffered an injury in April 2006, his owners Rather than affording him the professional advice of a vet, saw fit to seek the help of a dog psychotherapist who suggested nothing more than rest. His first race following his injury was on July the 8th. For some months, Class Nitro had taken up valuable kennel space and was given this one last opportunity to bring home the wrench. Without specialist veterinary care and still suffering the effects of his previous injury, the race was one too many for Clash Nitro. And despite his eagerness to please his owners, he sealed his own fate by finishing fifth. The decision to evict Clash Nitro was a foregone conclusion in view of the fact there were plenty more where he came from. Rent of Flyer was another such greyhound born on May the 11th, 2004. A blood born also from a litter of eight, having two brothers and five sitters, sisters. Although Rent of Flyer only raced on 10 occasions, he can be considered fortunate when compared to two of his sisters, Jody's Jest and Raphael's Dream, both of them never managing to make the grade and raced only once during their short lives in Ireland, never to be seen or heard of again. Torn from his native island and siblings before his second birthday, Renter Flyer disappointed his owners during his trial performance and with Clash Nitro, the dog physiotherapist suggested a period of kennel confinement and rest. Failing to make the grade and earn his keep, he, like Clash Nitro, had become a financial liability. And in the cutthroat business of compassion and sentiment, and the short trip to see him for cheap slaughter was inevitable. Neither of these greyhounds rewarded the humane services of a professional vet or seemed worthy of being acknowledged as a statistic dead or alive. On Wednesday the 12th, 2006, Flash Nitro, aged two years and nine months, and Ranger Flyer, 
even younger than two years and two months, were taken to see him. Unaware of their fate, they showed no resistance. When led to the slaughtered in sled, rent a flyer, only glancing back when alerted by the camera, shuttering of the uncover covering photographer. We will never know who had to watch his kennel mate being slaughtered and then endure the fear of knowing this was also to be his impending death. We will never know if Smith had executed his captive boat pistol effectively, designed only to stun and not to kill outright. We will never know the names of the estimated 10,000 greyhounds David Smith buried on his land, or how many of those were buried alive in the burning line. We do know, however, there were 12,819 greyhounds, just like Class Nitro and Renter Flyer, exported from Ireland last year, that 2007, all trained to perform and tragically just waiting, unbeknown to them, to be raced to death for the price of a bet.